All right, guys, we love video games. Yeah. Uh, my favorite video game of all time is The Witcher 3. I absolutely love it. I even have a tattoo of it. I know it's one of your favorite games, too. One of my top three. So we are going to examine some of the moves, well, one of the moves in The Witcher 3, The World. Right, The World is a move you unlock later in the game that is a very heavily spin-based move that sends Geralt into a rapid spin that damages enemies all around him. Yeah, we found a really cool video online from The Sword's Path. It's a cool YouTube channel where he breaks down how this move works based on the game itself. We're going to be using that and testing it out in combat to see, will it work? All right, here we go. So, the world. Now, um, these gloves restrict my movement a little bit, so it's gonna be, we're gonna see how this goes. So, the world is this. The first part of it, the blade comes behind the back, around the head and cuts. Throw that into your first spin. You can do as many spins as you want, and eventually you will switch and go to the other side. So, one more time. The world looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. Looks really cool. Will it work? Ready? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's flat. It's flat. Okay, let's see if we can get this to go. So. Oh, let's actually just explain what the wall is to fuck up this thing. Sure. <sighs> just so open on that first, that first backwards thing is hard. I'm gonna do this. Okay, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you can able to easily block those two. Let's try again. He got me. With one of those after it wasn't, it wasn't very hard though. Yeah. I want to see if I can do this coming in from a further distance. Okay. If I can get that spin already going. Okay. So the problem that we're having, and it's the same problem that we have with uh, most of the spins we do, is it's just that you're so open. No matter how fast I go. So the, if I'm starting in distance on this first one, this is not powerful enough or wide enough to get much. This hanging parry works with other stuff, but he's doing it more of a backwards roll to get momentum. It's not so much a parry. If I try and make it a parry, let's say he's doing a thrust, I can try and make that a parry and then come there, but he's right there. Even if I start this roll out of distance and I come in here, these spins, they're always coming here. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something. I'm not gonna tell him what it is. I'm gonna try something and see if it works. Ready? Ah. Nope. I guessed the thing. He guessed the thing. <laughs> um, I tried to change trajectory on this, so I did my first one here knowing he'd hit it, and my second one I brought up, and he just... But for me, for me, that's yeah. as easy as do a high cut. Yeah, yeah. It's this uh -huh. versus this. It's so simple for him to get. All I gotta do is this. All right. Here's something. So not everyone is a thrust-based fencer. Ah. Can you be a cut-based fencer? I can try. A cut-based person? I'll see if this works. Like I'll just try and cut you? You'll, try, you'll have to, you're not allowed to thrust. Okay. You do whatever you want, you can't thrust. Okay. <laughs> Are you all right? That was a good one. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. So, uh, I'm spinning fast. I'm not gonna, I know that sometimes we get complaints about me going too slow. The thing is, we're in a wide angle lens, all this other stuff makes it look a little slower, but I am spinning fast. Every time I'm going, I'm going and I'm looking for that. It was so easy for him to stay out of distance and pick me up. Let's try it. Why don't you try? All right. Try the world. Try the world. Okay. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I will. I will. Yeah. I will. That was easy. It's, it's just so easy to predict. I will pretend but I do not know what is coming and I'm a random soldier. I'll try this. Yeah, pretend like you're just like... Uh, I'm just a random soldier. Here we go. NPC. I'm an NPC. So, what I, I do not look that fast. I just assume 
I didn't assume I knew it was coming. It's so slow. It is so slow. I'm trying to go fast, but I'm not as fast as him. I'll admit that. All I had to do was back up and I saw the pattern. Anybody could back up and see. I love the Witcher guys, and this move doesn't work. Now sure. granted, I'm not Geralt. He's not Geralt. I just don't think. It's kind of a cop out. Here's the other thing, you'll see this a lot. The characters have the stamina bar from parrying, right? So yeah. what you'll do with Geralt is you'll wear them down until they can't parry. That's not anymore. a thing. So let's try that. Yeah. I want I want just parry. Yeah, you just parry and okay. see. Ready? Oh. <laughs> I'm fine. Tired? I'm fine. Yeah, totally fine. I'm just gonna cut you for a minute. See how it goes. Okay. Tired yet? Nope. Can you circle seats down camera? Yeah, we are. What? You would be the one. Yeah, I'm tired. tired. That's hard. Parrying is easy. So when you run out of stamina from parrying, it doesn't make any sense to me. Because I can sit here and parry all day. The hard part is the cut. Yep. Um, so, do we want to try one more thing or are we going to call uh, it? Well, the only thought I had was, well, first of all, I think the stamina bar from parrying is just so that there's some sense of maybe fairness yeah. or something in the game. Yeah, and again, really for the game. we're not saying that it's not a great game and it's not great game mechanics. Sure, sure. It is. It is a cool move. It belongs in that game. But games are fantasy, and, and that's, you know, I want that. I don't want to go into every video game and be constrained by the same thing I am fencing. The only other thought I have is, is there anything like it that might be less bad or better? And the thought I have, hold your sword out, the thought I have is, that could be a beat. Yeah. That, yes. And then, if I want to keep doing things, uh, this might be weird because of the gloves, but I could do my beat. Let me show you something. I can actually. keep cutting without spinning. There's another there's another way to do this actually. Can I can I can you do that to me? Do what? Do the same thing. If I want to do this beat, what I can do is I can come in here. Mm -hmm. Try that. No, you're fine. Good. But I have, instead of spins, I have these vert chop movements, and I can do them pretty fast. Let's say he parries this one. He can parry it, but he doesn't know what's coming. I knew he was gonna do it. I can keep throwing these, so if I've got I can, I, can, we'll get through. I can get in there, and I'm keeping him pretty... The thing about that is I want you to watch the timing on this. I'm going to do the whirl, just the, the turning portion. Okay. This is as fast as I can go. Well, I ended up missing. How hard was it to parry? The second one I missed, but the first one wasn't very hard to parry. The second one I kind of missed because of positioning. But did it wasn't close to hit you, was no, it? No, because... I can see your distance changing really clearly. Even if let's, I'm gonna try it again. I'm trying to gain distance on this on this cut. Right. <laughs> it's so out of control. So I just did something that really wasn't necessarily like parrying and responding, but you don't have. I can you just let him do that. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna wear out. Yeah. Here, but watch this, right? Let me see if I can get this to work. Okay. I can keep coming in with attacks like this, and I have I can see him. I can switch to low. Yeah. I can switch down to a low cut. I have options facing forward. All right. So yeah. the world will it work? No. Basically, no. Um, it's cool. It's awesome in The Witcher. Doesn't work in real fencing. That said, with a great sword. Montante fencing, there is something like this. A lot and of it is like that. A yeah. lot of it comes from finding spins. spins because your sword is this long mm -hmm. and you're not fighting against someone else with a Montante sword. You're fighting against someone with a long sword or someone with a sword or, and shield uh, single, single or a single bladed sword. sword. Yeah. So you have distance on your side. When you have a weapon... You might have armor on yeah, too. You might also have armor. Some degree Some of armor. Degree. Yeah. If you have a weapon that outranges your opponent, like a halberd or a montante sword or great sword of any kind, then you have the time to do things like spins. Then you have the time to be able to... And a lot of the times those spins were to deal with multiple on attackers. So I could cut at this guy... To check your... Switch... Uh, check your back while you're there, yeah. yeah. And you use the momentum of the weapon to pop and cut. So the world is based on real swordsmanship.
It yeah. just doesn't work with this sword. Not really. Not really. Is it cool? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's cool as hell. Cool as hell. <laughs> Again, The Witcher 3 is my favorite. I have The Witcher Silver Sword on my back. Yeah. I love this game. Yeah. But definitively, can we say, with a long sword, the whirl does not work. Does not work. Nope. Thanks, guys. If you like this video, please uh, like. Wait, what are you going to do? Uh, you can um, whirl the like whirl button. Whirl the like button. Yeah. And what are they going to do to the subscribe button? Igni the subscribe yeah, button. Igni, igni it. Or, also, well, no, no, if, they, if they burn it, it might not work for others. Might not work for others. Uh, just uh, do a, just a, a, a quint or ard. Yeah. Ard, ard, this, ard, this. Ard. That'll push it. Um, ard, yeah. yeah, push it, push it with ard. And then also go ahead. I'm gonna put the link in the description for that other video showing you how the world works uh, by the, uh, sword's the sword's path. path. Cool, cool video. Check them out. All right, guys. Thanks.